Welcome back to Little Norton, everybody. The Great Marathon continues. So, spraying has happened. I did that off screen. It's pants. We don't want to get involved in that. It's a, it's a long-winded process. And when you've seen it 300 times in the same series, you don't need to see it 301 times. So, we're going to... Drop that off there. Let's go in cab zebra. That's better. Uh, we're going to move the trailer. We're going to put some big chunky wheels on the little doits. She's going to earn some money today. Uh, so we'll put the wheels on. Customize. What? No, nope, that's incorrect. We want the weights back on the front. What do you mean? I do. I think. Yeah, that'll do. Thank you. Right, you're back to normal. To a degree. Right. Over at our oat field. We have the combine. What we're going to do is we're going to stick the trailer on the back of this door. Um, we'll go around, do the headland of the field, and then set Frank off, and then we're going to row up that grass over there, which hopefully has not turned to hay. Um, if it has, then we'll, we'll just turn it into haylage instead. If I can do that. Don't think I can. Don't think we're that um, privileged with game skills. Uh... So yeah, uh, day two this week of the Little Norton Marathon. I aimed to get the series completed by the end of the week so that we can move on into our next Let's Play series for next week. Um, we have had a vote for Chellington from uh, Massey77. Two, one. I've got that wrong, haven't I? Um, sorry if I have. I can't remember. So we'll turn here, that off. We'll get into. Well, we'll open the gate. Open, please. I would go inside this, but let's show you that. That windscreen is awful even if it was clean it would be awful it is shocking so we'll get our header on we desperately need to sort the animals out and feed them Oh, we've got so much that we need to do. So we need to row up for the... Wasn't that doing anything? That's what I thought. Yeah. Do not thresh when crops are too wet. Outstanding. It didn't even rain. Oh, look at that up there at the top. Too wet. Okay. <sighs> Trying to get on. Trying to get on. Trying to get on. 
Right. We'll do the animals first then. Goodness sakes. Speed up time a bit. Yes. So put the straw in. And then they're going to need everything. What's going on now? Right, round 399 million. Put that in there. It's taken a bit. It's expected too low, really. Whilst we're doing that, I'm going to open up this gate. There we go. Sometimes I feel things are too complicated, and sometimes then it's a So we'll get the mixer on. There's not much left in it, but what there is, we need to we need to get out anyhow. So I'm gonna stick that straight in. Okay, we want to clear that mess up. Can we be super multitasking? Yeah, kinda. So we'll check that out in a minute. We know it's not going to be enough. Or I know it's not going to be enough anyway. Yeah, drop the bucket down. We're going to need the bucket again. At some point. However, I don't think I want to get involved in the mucking out today. So we really want our crops to dry out. So that we can get on them. A fork just there. That grass, or hay I should say, is for the sheep. Which we'll go and do in a second. We want one of you.
One of you. That should be TMR. Sweetly is Seber. Sweetly is. Right. We'll get this in. Oh. Nearly. Nearly missed it. the only thing that I would like from this Merlot is it to go a little bit faster. Really. But other than that, it's my favouritest. So let's see how much they're going to take of this. Quite a fair bit, I would have thought. Leaves us with 26%, that's good. So we drop it just here. Let's not leave the gate open again. Let's do the water. Give the sheep some hay and we'll give them some water. And speed up the time a bit more so if we can get that crop dry. It'll be nice. sunny day. I just really want that mist to clear I think. I think once the mist is cleared we'll be uh, somewhere a bit handy for it. A bit mucky but I don't think really I'm overly concerned about the level of muckiness. It's certainly not going to be affecting them that much. We'll give them water. Our wool is doing well. Bye bye to you too. Right, that is that done. Uh, so. Look in here, so we don't forget which one it is. That can stay on. So we'll leave it on the loader for now, because we don't need to. Any more for now. So, let's attempt to row this lot up, whilst we're waiting. Oh look, are these full? Are these 100%? They are. Let's do these then. I like these uh, I like these little extra things that you can do with the game. Um, manure and water is relatively okay. I don't think really we're gonna have to get too involved in replenishing any of that. I'll keep an eye on it, obviously, but 
Um, we're into the second day of autumn now and they stop producing at the end of autumn so as soon as as soon as the, um, the winter kicks in it's all gone it's well, not all gone it's all stopped anyway there we go and uh, what's this one? Pears. Whoa! So, apples, pears, cherries, and plums are what we have. And they will all be in the shop. Let's see? Plums down there. And all the other bits and pieces, it all looks good. So we jump in. We'll get this done. It's definitely not drying out yet. There, there we go. Excellent, okay. So before we do that we'll do this got to do it from the outside I can't stand that winch me <clears throat> so these are oats and then we've got oats in our little field um, over there and then obviously our big field 49 is is soybeans Let's slow that time back down again or else we'll lose the day. Uh, so I'm going to go around. I'm just going to do the headland once. And then I'm going to start Frank off. Good old Frank. He comes everywhere with us, does Frank. Hopefully just once will be enough for him to traverse the field. If, uh, if there is an issue, then I'll have to come and sort him out. I don't think there will be too much of an issue to be fair though. Um, but yeah. I, I'm, I'm really excited about the next series because I'm going to try a lot of new things in it. Um, it's a lot of stuff that is kind of kind of been tried to be done before by other YouTubers. They've tried, they've only touched the surface of it there. And I want to see just how far we can take it. Uh, um, I'm not going to give it away yet. I'm not even going to say, when we when we do the last episode of Little Norton, I'm not even going to say what the plan is. Um, but obviously it needs to be Maze Plus ready, it needs to be Seasons compatible, and it needs to be a fairly substantial map really with plenty of things going on on it um, I think we have finalized uh, what tractors we're going to have we're going to be running Case, Massey and JCB Telehandler um, but we're still undecisive on the map so at the moment we've got a vote for Oakford Farm we've got a vote for Chellington uh, let me know in the comments below which map you would like to be seeing um, Seabird uh, so yeah here we go anyway what I was going to do was I was going to time lapse the wind rowing so basically what we'll do is we'll set Frank off in a second and and I'll jump into the big doits and time lapse away and keep coming over here whenever he needs to empty which 
it does actually take a while because it's quite a slow combine um, but obviously whatever he misses we'll just pick it up once he's done I'm just trying to work out the best best route to set him up on so angles of the field don't quite compute the way I would like them to Let's see how he'll attack this bit if we line him up here. Terribly. That car is beeping at us. <laughs> it does make me chuckle. I think he's gonna. Oh, get over, will you? Just be patient. You want your bread, don't you? He's going to do it, I think. I think we'll leave him to it. So we'll try and get a load off of him so that he can... ...move on a, a little bit. And then we'll go and time lapse the wind rowing. Stop him before he turns. Nope. Reverse him. I'll tell you what we do. is going to take quite a bit of filling which is uh, which isn't a bad thing actually because the other one the other one uh, didn't take much at all so we'll leave her there hopefully he's not going to give us any issues I know that he's going to leave the little triangles like he does but it should line up quite nicely for the rest of the field so let's finish doing this I think it got a bit stuck then didn't know what it wanted to do still not going down Why won't you go down? There we go. Try having it on the right thingy. Right, we'll jump into the time lapse right now then.
And there we have it. I don't know how Frank's doing. Probably, uh, probably stopped and had enough. Gone home for lunch, I don't know. We'll go and see you in a second though. That is a mountain of grass just there, isn't it? So, we'll drop this right here. He is still going. He must nearly be uh, full. I'm going to fall. And these bits we will come and tidy up ourselves. So that is um, oh, his flash is going. So we're all right. Let's see if we can negotiate this. So that should be him. And we'll get back to this. Oh no, we don't want that one, do we? Just took that off. We want the baler. It's already got grass in it, which is a good thing. We're going silage again. How's that doing? Is it doing it manually or is it doing yes? We are good. So we'll go around. I don't understand why we're going so slow today, whether there's an issue or something. I don't know. It seems to be Quite fat swaths as well. We never put any fertilizer on this field either. So I haven't got a clue. Nope, I do not. We'll go around, we'll do the headland, and then I'll jump cut to the end of the field. Uh, Frank should be finished possibly into the little field as well by then. We'll have some kind of idea of where we are at. Possibly. Certainly likes to take me money, that's for sure. <laughs> so. Yeah. This is this is without doubt my probably my top giants mod the tra the uh, the baler. It's probably, but it's is through no um, mag mag magnificent uh, magicalness of their doing. It's Vicon's doing. They've Vicon made uh, an incredibly intelligent, clever baler. And fortunately for us, Giants have brought it to the game. 
which has made it the fantastic mod that it is or DLC whatever you want to call it but it's just it's just an exceptional piece of equipment really um, you know the the guy who came up or woman or dudes or dudettes whoever the team that came up with this um, really thought about it really thought about how long it takes to do the job that this does all combined into one um, I don't think you could buy um, a more helpful piece of equipment in the farming industry it's just so so helpful <laughs> you know this is essentially what we've got here is um, two jobs into one but it does it in such a way that you don't even have to stop that's that's the the genius thing about it but anyway what we'll do is I'll finish off this field and then we'll jump cut that's going to take some picking up we'll jump cut to wherever we are right then last strip tiny little bit just here uh, not sure it's going to be enough we'll soon find out though won't we is it apparently it might just be not not even close 98 oh we've got a couple of little dribs and drabs so anyway, yeah, uh, Frank has finished the field. Uh, by all accounts, his grain tank is nearly full as well. But let's move this bale. Yes, enough to do the last bale. Excellent. Right. Okay. That should be dropping off the back then. It is excellent. Right. Off, up, fold. We'll run this down to that field because we want to bale that straw. We'll finish off whatever he's missed because there is bits. We know that already. We'll take off the load that he's got and we'll go to whoever's buying oats for the most. For the highest price and sell it straight away um, but I think before we sell it we'll set Frank up in the other oat field so let's I'll get you in here it's going to give us a grass bale to start off with because we got 26% in but hey ho what can you do? Um, so let's just quickly race round the little tufts I'm going to leave. I'm not worried about the little tiny tufts. It's the, the bigger bits. So we'll get this down. He's 81% full. Which isn't too bad at all. So yeah, we'll just grab up these bits and then I'll get him into the other field and we're going to sell our trailer load. If it is a trailer load, it might not be a trailer load, we might be able to get some more into it. Who knows? Um, I'm pretty sure that we'll get all of this in the tank there.
So I wonder who's going to give us the best price. It'd be nice if it's this lot right here. Because then we haven't got to go very far to get rid of it. If not, it's not an issue, but you know, it would just be nice, wouldn't it? <laughs> so here we go. That's gonna put us about 90% maybe. Or not. <laughs> I do like having a complete fleet of Deutz. Yeah, this will fill the trailer up. Yeah, lovely. So we'll drop the header onto the trailer, get it into our little field, which is a bit of a pain to get into. But we'll be okay. Hopefully, we can get onto the trailer there. It could prove to be a bit of a. Oh no, we're good. Excellent. So we'll take him down. It'd be better if there was a cut through. Cows seem happy though, they're moving away, loving life. Either that or they're mooing because they're feeling neglected. One or the other. <laughs> Who knows? Got a nice mound of manure there. We got another mound in the shed, which is increasing as we speak. Um, and we kind of wanna we wanna go in this way, don't we? Because it's tricky tricky getting in the other way. I'm gonna, I'm gonna destroy a bit of crop here trying to get it's a shame we didn't get a withered bit a bit at the edge of the field would have been nice. get a minimum amount of minimum amount of destruction <clears throat> So the same again, we'll quickly go around, do the headland, and then we'll leave them to it whilst we go and empty the trailer. Again, with this field, the, um, the ground isn't quite lined up very well. I understand how difficult it is because I have actually made some maps myself for personal use for playing around them. Uh, never released them because they ne they were never good enough. They were never good enough. They were good enough for me to uh, to play around on and just get used to using the editor and things like that. But they were never good enough to be released, full of faults and things. But I understand how difficult it is to get these the, the crop directions to lay out properly when you're making a map. So as annoying as it as it is, it's um, 
I can't complain about it because I know how difficult it is. But yeah. It's a shame really. So will he go that way? No, that's not really how I want him to do that. I think, if I'm not mistaken, that might be the better way. Yeah, I think I'll be alright. <clears throat> right. Oh yeah, we need to see who's buying oats. Who is buying oats? Price has unsurprisingly gone down. But it is Grain Co. Which is up by the dealers. just trying to balance out the fuel to distance ratio 982 yeah we've got to go to grain co it's because the, the fuel is never going to cost more than what we're going to make oh. and to be fair this little doits is pulling this trailer relatively happily until we get to a field uh, a field a hill. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think what I'll do though, just to try and save a little bit of time, is I don't know. We seem to be coming at quite a, quite a decent speed actually. We'll stick with it. We'll stick with it. If I cut it out, I cut it out. All these fields are with it. I don't quite know what's going on with the system. It won't let me refresh. It won't do anything with any of the fields. It's just leaving them all with it. So I'm guessing there's some kind of interference with a mod conflicting somewhere along the lines. I don't know. That has been cultivated not by me but yeah it's just weird it's been like that since spring so as soon as we came out of Christmas out of winter Christmas out of winter uh, it's uh, it's just maintained the same doing some of the contracts hasn't made any difference unfortunately so it's just, just that was weird wasn't it just a bit odd, really. So, we're coming up the hill. We're going to go a bit slow now. Pootling along up the hill. I'll cut this little bit out. Yeah, she didn't like that much. But I can't fault her really, other than that, coming up the hill. She kind of enjoyed it. Didn't like coming around there though. Let's try something else. I think we're going to need the back end on it. There we go. So, how much are we going to make? 20,000. That's my estimation.
21319. Not a bad guess, was it? As long as we can get out. Yeah, we'll get out. Right, I'll cut back down to him. And then we'll, we'll make some kind of move on whatever we're doing next. A familiar sight, the farmyard. <laughs> I wonder how far he's got. Yeah, nearly done. Not bad. Awesome, in fact. Very awesome. His light's flashing, so is he? Oh, that wasn't awesome, was it, Zebra? Excellent. Well, how are you doing, Frank? You doing good? You doing good? Let's turn you off. We'll finish up. Sixty-five percent full. And we know that this is a really small tank anyway, so it's not going to be a lot. Uh, so hopefully, well, not hopefully, definitely this will fit in the trailer. And we get that sold as well, and then it's just the soybeans that we've got to concentrate on. Uh, which is going to be fantastic. We get the old pipe out. Well, let's get that a little bit whilst we're here. Might as well. There we go. Excellent. We'll turn him off, put that in, jump out of there, jump back in here. We'll head up. We'll sell this last little bit. Actually, I don't think we will. We'll hold it for the night. No, we'll hold it for the episode. So we'll pull up here. And in the start of the next episode, we'll go and get rid of that. Right. Good progress today, everybody. Good progress. Lots done. Uh, both oats, both oat fields harvested and ready for baling. We've got this soy to get into in the next episode. And baling to do and all sorts of stuff. Thanks for watching, everybody. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for the next installment of the Little Norton Marathon. Stay safe. And may the weather be with you.